Hello. Today we will go over a few questions asked in Amazon SQL interview round. I got these questions from the lead code. I will paste this uh, link in the description box. Uh, I'll structure. I have structured this video into three parts. First, we'll talk about the context, then discuss the data model, and then the first three questions from that link. Uh, we'll talk about how to approach. Uh, solving a problem in the actual interview and then we'll go about the actual SQL query as well. Uh, so coming to the context, the con uh, business use case is that a satellite television provider XYZ is looking forward to your help as a data engineer or data analyst in retrieving some, retrieving some critical information from its data warehouse. Uh, we have been given three tables. One is dimension subscriber table and then dimension packages table, and then fact subscriptions table. Uh, dimension subscriber table has three columns, subscriber ID, name, and join date. Packages table has four columns, package ID, package name, package type, and price per day. Subscriptions table captures the facts. It has subscriber ID, package ID, package start date, and package end date. So these are the three tables. And then there are a bunch of business rules. First one is there are two types of packages, base and add-on. So here, uh, base and add-on are the two types and we can get these two types or this, this information is stored in packages table. And the second one is subscriber will have at least one base pack. Uh, in order for a subscriber to be onboarded to the service, he'll have to have at least one base pack and then he can have zero, he or she can have zero or more add-on packages, packs. And then the third rule is package is considered active for a subscriber if package end date is null. So in order to see if a certain package is active or not for a customer, uh, for a subscriber, you'd want to look at this fact table and check this column to see if it's null or not. If it has a date, that means that package subscription was ended on that particular date. And then subscriber is considered to be active if there is a base pack linked to him with null package ended. Again, same thing, if a subscri uh, if subscriber is not active, uh, that means that the record in subscription stable will have not null value for the package end date. And then last one is each package has price per day in, in the second table, which is the fee for package for a single day usage. And then based on that, you can calculate the monthly fee by, by multiplying, multiplying price per day with the number of active days in that month. So these are the business rules. Uh, to reiterate, there are three tables subscriber dimension, package dimension, and subscription table, and then bunch of rules. Basically, it's saying uh, the rules say that subscriber is considered to be active if the package end date column is not null. That's it. Um, now we'll start with the first question. The marketing team wants to run a campaign to bring back customers who are no longer active. Write a query to pull out subscribers who are no longer active. Even in the actual interviews, I would suggest not to jump into SQL code, SQL query right away. Uh, talk about your approach with the interview, interviewer, uh, get the feedback or uh, get, get, get the feedback and then try to write the code. So here, what we are trying to do is get the list of subscribers who are no longer active. In order to know if a subscriber is active or not, based on the rule here, business rule here, we'll have to check this column and and to, to understand if a subscriber is active or not. And once we have that information, uh, then you can check uh, this table to see who all are not active right now, and then marketing team, uh, provide it to marketing team so they can start campaigning. I would do it in uh, approach where I'll get all the subscribers from our subscriber table. Let's join it with 
with our fact table and then see wherever uh, again in fact table also we'll have to get only active customers in order to get the active customers we'll do something like where uh, package end date is not null i mean is null that's for active customers so this will be the approach uh, I think I hope you got the idea here. So let me start the SQL code here. So we will start with the subscriber table on the left hand side. Let's call it as S, then join it with the active customers. Basically, we'll get active customers from the subscriptions. Here we can uh, probably use CT just for uh, it to be clear in interview. Uh, we can use CTs. I'll start with active customers, CT, and then and then get the subscriber uh, from the subscriptions fact table. We want to see who the active customers are. So this will be null. Here we want to get the subscriber ID so we can use it in joints. So this CD will give you all the subscriber IDs for which the package end date is, not, 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 is null, meaning this will be the list of all active customers. And then we'll use it in the join below here. So we'll do active customers A on what are the sub, uh, sub, subscriber ID column. Sorry, it's A. Here you can use left join concept to see if the other side of table is null, meaning that that subscriber is not an active customer. So we can do distinct subscriber ID. So this would give you all the inactive customers right now. So how we have done is first we got the list of customers who are active and uh, for that we have used subscriptions table. We have looked for the customers or the records where package end date is null from this rule here. Here it also mentions uh, pack needs to be base pack. You can add that, uh, but it, I guess it shouldn't matter because subscriber will have at least one base back uh, uh, is already mentioned. But if you want, you can add that filter as well. So once you have the cust active customers list, then you will use the dimension table, dimension subscriber table, and left join it with active customers to get the list of customers where, where there is no match for the active customers table. And the second question is that product team wants to understand subscribers who have at least two add-on packages. Write a query to pull out the subscribers who have at least two active add-on packages. All right. Here again, we can use CT. I'll, I'll I'm just copying copy pasting the above one here. Now we'll uh, get the get all four columns here. Once we have all four columns, then what we want to do is we want to see from active customers, we want to see how many customers or sorry, which customer has more than two add-on packages. So first thing we want to do is filter out the base type. We are not worried about the base type here. And for that, you can use package type column. Can see package type is not base and then 
we will need to group by the subscriber ID. And then we can do having count of star or maybe even do count of the package ID greater than or equals to two, uh, at least two add-on packages. So this would give you the active customers who has add-on packages, uh, who has at least two add-on packages. And then you can either uh, filter, uh, uh, I mean, uh, either join with the subscriber table to get the subscriber details, or maybe you can even do a uh, subquery, something like subscriber where Something like this will also work fine. Here, the main thing is to get the active customers who has at least two add-on packages and then get those details, or get their details like name uh, and stuff from the dimension table. Moving on to the third question. The marketing team believes that people who subscribe to English news package should also be needing the English entertainment package. Okay, makes sense. And then the question is to write a SQL query to pull out subscribers who have active English news package, but do not have active English entertainment package. Okay. Uh, I guess there are multiple ways to solve the questions. Uh, even the one and two can be solved in different ways. But here I would again use join approach. So what I would do is first, I would get all the active customers who has the English pack, English news package. And then I would get all the active customers who has the English entertainment package. And then I would do a simple left join. That way I will know people or the subscribers who has English news, but doesn't have the English entertainment. So here we can use CTE approach. The whole idea in the interview is to write your SQL query as uh, as easy as possible for the interviewer to read. So we will use the fact table again. Actually, let me type. Here we are considered with, we can directly use our active customers table. Yeah. Let me call this A and then we need to join it with uh, the dimension package table, D package table in order to get the package name or, or in order to get the English news package uh, records with English news only. So we will have to do an inner join with uh, the packages on the package ID. And then we can filter out package name to be English news. Okay. So this would give you all the customers who as English news package, active English news package. Then you can just get the subscriber ID from here. And the next CT is similar. So just copy paste this. Here, English entertainment. So we are joining active customers with the package is stable again on the package ID. And then here we'll change the filter condition to entertainment. Once we have these two tables, then it will be simple 
then what you'll do is you would get uh, do the left join on active customers with English news with active customers who has English entertainment. Let's call this T2. Call it T1. We'll be joining on the subscriber ID. Here also we are using uh, left join, same as we used uh, from the first question. We want to find wherever the subscriber ID on the right side of table is null. I've just realized I'm typing without D. So what we have done is first we got the active customers who has English news and then we have got active customers who has English entertainment and then we have done left join to find the customers who has English news but doesn't have the English entertainment package. I hope this makes sense. That's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, add comments in the comment section if you have any suggestions for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks.